All right, guys. Uh, Tyler Mayforth here with the San Marcos Daily Record, joined by my assistant, assistant, excuse me, Joseph Garcia. And Joe, tonight we saw the Bobcats win 28 to three. Your initial thoughts? Uh, you know, Tyler Art really came out and uh, proved that he belongs uh, belongs at the starting quarterback position and uh, converting, you know, seven third downs in a row. I thought really kind of keyed them uh, for the whole game. And it seemed like, again, that the, the defense stepped up for the second consecutive game, right. uh, forced uh, two, two consecutive three and outs to start the game. And then the Bobcats, you know, part of those three, you know, converting third downs, they really rolled off the offense, scored the first two drives, um, got up to that quick 14 nothing lead. Um, what stood out to you on those first two drives? Uh, well, you got to say the 77-yard run um, by Chris Nuttall. Uh, on the third, one in the second quarter. Second you know, quarter. And, but his, his, his run was huge. I mean, you, you were mentioning to me that Chris Nuttall really impressed you. What was it about him that really kind of stood out? Uh, you know, he's a lot more shifty and a little quicker around the corners than, you know, might give him credit for. Uh, even Fran seemed a little surprised in the after-game presser, and uh, that's just one thing that stood out for me. Uh, you know, I thought that it might be uh, Franks all the way, you know, they're starting off at the t- tailback position, but... Uh, Big surprise and a good one for Texas State. You know, Nuttall's had just quite the fantastic, um, fantastic fall camp so far, and really a spring camp that he kind of put himself into a better position to succeed. Um, and tonight, eight carries, 132 yards, only rushed for an average of 16 and a half yards per carry. I mean, he could probably do better than that next game. Who am I kidding? That's amazing. I mean, but overall, the Bobcats reached the end zone. Four times, all on the ground, and uh, Tyler Arndt, I thought that he kind of established himself as a quarterback when the offense wasn't shooting themselves in the foot with those penalties that we saw too much of tonight. Right. Um, you know, just to key again on Arndt, he, he really managed the offense well, and uh, it's nice to have a change of pace with Moore getting in there and uh, being able to move around in the pocket and, you know, keep the defense on its toes. And I think we agreed on the player of the night tonight. That was uh, Chris Nuttall. That's right. Um, the play of the game, I'm guessing you think – like I'm thinking that 77-yard touchdown run. Yeah, that's got to be it. And uh, what do you think kind of shifted momentum in the game? What was your big moment that did it? Was it the 77-yard touchdown run, or was it another one that kind of did it? You know, I think that uh, the blocked field goal down there really kind of changed the momentum of uh, really the, the second half of the game. Uh, you know – Defensively, these guys just keep turning out and showing that they can be uh, one of the top defenses in the Sun Belt Conference. You know, they haven't really faced anyone yet. That's what the next couple games are about. They, they have an off week, and they go at to Texas Tech. They come home against Wyoming, and those are going to be two tough games. I mean, Texas Tech is rolling off some yards right now, and Wyoming just put a hurting on uh, on Idaho, I believe. I think it was... 42 to 3, 48 to 10, somewhere on those lines. I wasn't really paying attention to that game too much as that was this one behind us. But the next few games are critical. And in your opinion, has this bye week come at an opportune time for Texas State? Yeah, and Fran really uh, harped on it in the, at media day. You know, being 2 and 0 and going into the bye week, he couldn't ask for anything better. You know, a whole extra week to prepare for Texas Tech. Now, he was uh, three conferences in three years. But the, the foe that's remained the same has been Texas Tech. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. New coach this year. But we'll see how, how that uh, rolls out for the Bobcats. And I'm thinking that game's going to show a lot about this team. I mean, the last two years, they lost by a combined score of 108 to 20 to Texas Tech. So this will be a great barometer of how they stand. Because if they keep it close, within 10 points, amazing. If they win the game, even better. You know, stupendous. I'm trying to think of great verbs to use, great adjectives. But, I mean, they just need to show that they can handle their own against a good offense like Texas Tech, like the Air Raids are going to bring out to them. Um, but overall, this was a great win for the Bobcats, 28-3 to over the Prairie View A&M Panthers. Uh, Bobcats 2-0 and for the first time in eight years. Uh, back in 2005, the Bobcats beat Delta State and Southern Utah to begin the season. We all remember what happened that year. So maybe this year is going to be maybe the same, but who knows? There's a whole lot of games left to be played. Once again, Joseph Garcia, Tyler Mayforth, thanks for joining us.